Okay. I'm awake, boy. I'm awake. Camera's on. It is now the morning of day three here in the Twilight Forest. Or at least it looks like day. But my cave has been plunged in darkness because it would appear that my uh, those glow bugs that I had, the fire bugs, either wandered away. Or I'm thinking maybe someone had a midnight snack last night. No, I'm not accusing you. <laughs> but if you did, you're going to have one sour belly today, I would imagine. All right, go ahead. Go play. Probably have to go to the bathroom, don't you? Being blocked in like that. Uh, let's see. I have some torches, though. Let's get a torch up here. Yes, the bugs appear to be gone. Perhaps there's a way to capture them and put them in uh, in jars. If I do that, like like when we were kids. <laughs> Used to put fire bugs in jars. If I can do that, maybe we can keep them uh, secured in one location. All right. It's time to get started here, my friend. Wilson and... I think for today what we're going to do is we'll do another perimeter search. We'll go out a little bit farther than last time. And I'm also going to... Um, I think we're going to head back into that cave. This hollow hill. And attempt to uh, do some smelting. There's a lot of iron ore in there. And I would like to fetch some of that. There's no reason why we can't smelt it, I don't think. We should have any problems with that. All right, let's see. What do we need? I'm going to... Oh, you know. Here. Hey, boy, come here. Let me give Wilson this pork since I can't eat it. It's rancid. I should have cooked it last night for me, but... Um, oh, here's what I cooked for me. But I'm not very hungry, so I'm just going to store this away. And I think we have everything we need. Although, I'm going to make a few more torches. And we're going to need more coal, too. So we'll head back into the hollow hill, and then we'll go out and do another perimeter exploration around the uh, this hollow hill. We'll spread out a little farther this time, though. Oh! Hey, now. I guess so pushy. All right. First things first. Let's have some water. Okay, I'm not hungry though, so I won't be eating anything. Oh, well, here's all the little glow bugs out here. You know what? Let's let's give this a try. I'm gonna have to get some. Let's get some sand. And then um, just don't want to ruin my walk. Let's take the sand from over here. And we'll turn this into glass. We'll make a few jars. Careful, pal. I'm swinging a shovel around. Make a few jars of glass. And we'll capture some of these guys. Let's go see if I can get one in any jar. There's one right here. Can I reach this guy? <laughs> Got him. Alright, and while we're here, let's... Let's get some more wood. This is an interesting looking wood. A solid oak. Grab some of this and... Oh my gosh! Wilson, check this out. This tree is hollow. Completely hollow inside. It's lit too. Oh, that's why it's lit. There's no roof. Completely hollow all the way to the top. Wilson, come here, boy. I've never seen anything like this. This is like a gigantic redwood. Like a sycamore. As far as size goes and height, but... Completely hollow on the inside. That is amazing. Alright, that cicada is going to drive me crazy. Oh, that's not the cicada. Where is the cicada? Okay, the cicada is done, thankfully. Hey, that's, this is going to be my house. What are you doing in here? Yeah, uh, hey Wilson, I think uh, I think we will do that. I think we'll make this into Ooh, it's, the exterior is rather thick, isn't it? We'll just make this into a house. 
I think what we'll do is we'll move everything in here. Away from the hollow hill. The hollow hill is a little more dangerous. All right, well, that's interesting. All right, let's, um, let's make a few more planks. In fact, seeing that I'm here right now and I've got all this extra wood, rather than lug it back to cave shelter, we'll just put it down uh, right here. And make a chest. And we'll start storing stuff in here. How's that? All right, fire bugs. I think what we're going to do is um, let's go see if we can cook up this glass. Cook up the sand, rather, and make glass. So let's try. Oh, I don't have any more coal. All right, let's. All right, first things first. Let's put the sand here. Oh, I hear a spider. And let's put the fire bugs in here for now. Ah, it's one of these poisonous buggers, I bet. There's some coal, if I recall, right here. Yes, right there. Perfect. But hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, Wilson. Spider. All right, watch my back. I'll grab some of this coal. I hear him, but I don't see him. This is why I want to move out of this shelter. Got that sand back here. And this ought to work. I should make... I should make glass. And we can take that glass... Make some bottles. All right, well, let's let that smell. And why don't we go try to get some of this iron? Oh. Oh, that was weird. That piece. Oh, here it is. Got him. What are you doing behind there? Okay, come on out. All right, let's grab some of this coal while we're down here. I don't want to be down. I don't want to be in this hollow hill for too long, though. It's dangerous, and this silence is just eerie. It's creeping me out. It's too quiet in here. Something's going down, and I have a feeling I'm going to be ambushed. Okay, that's about all I can fit in that pocket. So let's get rid of... I don't need that. All right, let's kind of stick close to the exit. Yeah, I, I'm not ready to leave yet, Wilson. <laughs> There's gold ore here, but I want to grab some of this iron. Careful. Oh, skeleton, skeleton. Oh, no, two skeletons and a spider. Okay, you get the skeleton. Get him, get him, get him. Good job, buddy. Oh, he got you, didn't he? Ah, look at that. He dropped a bow. Come here. Come on, away from the darkness. All right, stay right there. Okay, well, like I said, ambush. Got a bow out of it. Here's what we're going to do. I heal, fortunately, automagically in this place for some reason. But you do not, do you? Try that. There you go. See, that works. So we use food to heal you. But I heal automatically. Good to know. Okay. Come here, buddy. I need you to watch my back here. So there's really no reason why... Oh, 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 that's a goblin there too. Come here. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's get rid of this guy first. And we can concentrate. Ah, don't like those spiders and how they sneak right up on you oh look goblin get him he doesn't see us yet oh no two there you go buddy take a bite if you feel like it there you go oh more boots alright well 
Uh, I guess I'll bring him. You didn't get hit, did you? Alright, get rid of the string. Okay, now let's get the iron. Okay, I was saying I should be able to smelt. I was thinking yesterday that smelting may not work here in, the, in this odd twilight forest place, but I have a furnace. I've got some fuel, coal. I should be able to melt it down, smelt it into iron ingots. The goblins are doing it, so I should be able to too. It's my, it's my, my logic. That's my reasoning, anyway. <laughs> we'll see if this is true. There's more right there, but I hear a growl. Oh, look, a chest. Wilson, where did you go? Okay, cover me. Oh no! Oh, these vines get in the way too. Oh, good. Okay, we could use more zombie flesh for you, buddy. Oh, these, these, these vines hinder combat ability quite a bit. Not only do they slow you down when you want to sprint and hit something hard, they also stop the swing. They get in the way of when you swing your sword. I don't like it down here at all. But I do want to get whatever's in here. Don't go far. There's lava there. Oh, nice. Ooh, that is really nice. Okay, um, you know what? I don't... There, let's swap bows. Bread. Uh-oh. Okay, goblin. I don't know why he finds this so funny. I'm raiding, <laughs> I'm raiding his, his loot. <laughs> I guess I'll get the last laugh here. Oh, arrows. Oh, I gotta split these up. Oh, I'm gonna have to lug all this back. This is gonna be heavy, but... We can do it. We can do it. I think we're close enough to camp. Come on. Yep, that's about all we can get. Out. Alright, this will be the last bit of work in this shelter, and I want to move to the tree. Alright, first things first, let's get rid of some of this. I'm going to have to make my, uh, my famous ratty boot quiver <laughs> that I've made in the past. Right, let's get this smelting. Oh, my glass is done. Nice and hot still. That's good. I can mold that down. And... Alright, well, it looks like it's working. It's heating up the metal. Oh, it works. Oh, good. Alright, while well, this glass is hot, let's make some of these jars. There's three. Let's make six jars. And let's try to put some of these little bubbles in there. It's my jar. I'm gonna stuff you right in there. All right, he's in. Gives off a little bit of a glow. Check that out. Of course, there's a ton of coal here anyway, so I don't think torches are gonna be a problem, but it'll look nice <laughs> in the shelter. And while we're here surviving, we might as well live in style. Okay, so. I have an iron ingots. We've got some boots, which I don't need right now. I've got my own. I've got boots on. I think it's time to move some of this stuff over to the other shelter. So let's grab some of the food. I can probably carry that stuff in this pack. All right, we'll come back for the rest. Yeah, starting to get tired. It's getting a little late. I'm not sure if we're going to have time do our perimeter search. But might have to do that tomorrow in the day, uh, morning of day four. Come on, pal. All right, why don't we do this? Let's make a window right here. And we'll put, let's just put all the iron away, the food, all this stuff in here for now. The buckets I can use... I'm going to try to get some milk from some of these rams. All right, I can only really carry about 12 of these comfortably in that pack. Yeah, so those rams, I'm going to try to milk one. It's That could be interesting. <laughs> but the milk can be used as an antidote to the venom. The spider venom. All right, maybe we'll take a quick, a quick run. 
I don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to have the time. All right, let's do this. I'm going to put one of these jars down and take a look. Oh, wow. That's great. Gives off just a little bit of light. Glass is a little smudgy, though. But he's in there. And he ain't going to fly away. And you can't eat him. <laughs> not saying that you did, but... Just curious about that. Oh, let's make some armor. That was the whole point of that, right? Why don't we make iron chest plate? Oh, that is going to be extremely helpful in absorbing some some of the damage and the blows from swords and arrows and bites. How do I look? Sharp, huh? All right, let's put this back and let's go fetch some more stuff. And then our move will be complete. So today, is, I guess, is moving day. <laughs> but I do feel a lot more safe and secure in that tree than I do over here near this mound. Too close to those spiders. All right, let's grab the mushrooms. The feather could be important for making more arrows. I'll bring this along too. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to do for us, but... And I can lug that over, no problem. And some string. I'll need the string to make my makeshift quiver. All right, let's do this, buddy. And then I would really like to get here. Let's, uh, let's take you down. Really like to get some wool. And I'm assuming those rams can be sheared. I'll have to make some shears. These I'm not going to be making any friends with the with the with the rams around here. I'm going to try to milk them and I'm going to shear them. And I don't think they're going to be too appreciative. Four iron ingots. Ooh. Well, I could make a helmet. Can't make a pair of pants though. Let's start with the helmet. Oh, I can't even make a helmet. That's not quite enough, is it? Well, then let's make the shears. Not quite enough for what I intended. All right, let's grab one more bottle. And we'll make another brightly lit firefly jar. Dimly lit, rather. The feather, the maze focus, and all this food can go in here. I'm actually starting to get hungry. Oh, I have more iron in here. I can make a helmet. Excellent. Whew. Okay. All right, protect the noggin. Um, yeah, my legs are a little exposed. And we need some, oh, there was some leather back there, wasn't there? Yeah, I think there were two pieces of leather. All right, yeah. It's gonna be very helpful to get these arrows out of that slot and attach a, um, Quiver. Let's go get some more leather. I think I had two. I'm wondering if the rams can give me leather. Alright, well, we'll explore in one direction. Let's just go backwards. Let's just go over there. And I'm going to put a torch up here. And we'll go this direction. And then uh, it's going to be time for bed because I am getting a little pooped. Wow. Whoa. Check this out. That is beautiful. These are the fiddleheads. And they change color. <laughs> oh, and they give off a little bit of a glow. That is gorgeous. So curious. Huh. I'm going to take some. Well, that's interesting. It loses the color and the glow in my hand. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's the soil. It is. It's the soil that dictates the color of the plant. That is magnificent. I like that. Well, then, I'll take the fiddleheads anyway. Maybe I can use them in some sort of recipe. Cook them. Or... Oh, zombie! Where did you come from, Mr. Zombie? There we go. More food for you, buddy. Ooh, this is like a this is some man-made structure here. All right, hold on. Don't get turned around. There's the house. Okay. 
heading into the sun, which... Oh, oh, would you look at this? Lots of skeletons. I don't think he saw me, though. I want to pick him off. I want to check out this well. Oh, now he sees me. Now he sees me. Okay, there's one more. Wilson, watch out. Let's get behind the tree. Where did he go? I think he fell down there. Oh, don't go down there. Let's check out the well. Oh, this is a good sign. Well, now we have a well, and we have that other ruined building that we found, too. So there's definitely signs of intelligent life forms here. Or at least what was here at one time. Now I'm wondering... Yeah, I'm gonna... Ugh, that is awful. Let's see if this is fresher. Oh! Oh, it is. It's much better. All right. Well, that's good. Maybe I'll get a bucket of this. Ah. <sighs> that other water didn't hurt me, really, but it certainly didn't taste very good. And who knows what's going to happen to me down the road, right? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't take any more chances. All right. Well, this is a really neat spot, but I don't want to get too far. There's a ram. And guess what? I forgot the bucket. Darn it. Oh, that's one of those tall, creepy... Alright, I have seen these in Minecraftia. Yeah? It's a familiar creature. Let's just keep our distance. I think they are relatively passive unless you attack. Or look at it funny. A bunch of rams right by tree fort. Let's get over there. Oh, I hear more zombies. How in the devil did they get up there? Let's go get the bucket. Let's get some milk. I'll be used as the antidote. At least it works as an antidote in Minecraftia. I'm not sure about here. We're gonna find out. Let's go. Let's go make some friends. <laughs> you think that's funny? First, I gotta get him down from there. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Ooh. Come on down from there, you. This isn't gonna hurt much. Okay, so I'm going to have to dig to get to you, aren't I? Here. You don't have milk. How about... Okay, well, I'll take your wool at least. Still friends? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> at least it doesn't get cold here. It grows back. It'll grow back. I have two, two pieces of wool now, so I can make somewhat of a bed with that. Oh, green. Maybe I'll make a green bed. You know, Wilson, if we're going to have to survive here, we might as well <laughs> live in comfort style and have a little fun. I can't milk you, but I will take your green wool. Maybe I can make something else with this. Hmm. But no milk. All right, we'll have to think about the milk thing. I did see some other... I saw pigs and deer. And I will try milking them all. <laughs> but I think for right now, I think it's... I really think it's time to turn in. I'm tuckered out. I'm hungry. So let's, uh, let's put the shears here. Let's make a nice lime green bed. <laughs> we'll put some brown in the center. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's soft. Wilson, check this out. Well, like I said, if we're going to survive here, I'm going to at least do it in comfort. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to go back and get my leather. It's at the other location. But for now, I'm going to have stew for dinner. Wilson, come. Ah, down the hatch. Oh, that's good. Okay, stay. Good boy. And then, um, I'll close up the shop. 
and I think we're done for day three, my friend. Whew. Okay, good day. Very productive. We're doing well here. Got some personal protection and armor. We know that we can smell. We've got some extra lighting options if we need it. We've got plenty of food. I'm going to have to pick some more mushrooms, however. Nice fresh water. And we'll go grab some of that with a bucket. Maybe find some milk. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, and I need to make my my shoe quiver. We'll try to do that tomorrow. I'll work on this and try to figure out what the heck that thing is. Okay, I think we're done. So day three survived, Wilson and I. And day four tomorrow. And, well, we'll see what the morrow brings more adventure and excitement most likely and hopefully a way out of here <laughs> not sure what i'm looking for but i'm going to continue looking all right signing off now good night